Hey guys, this is Attacking Toucans. Welcome to Orange is the New Black, the game. Well, not really. This is actually Prison Architect, a game where you get to build a prison and then watch over all of your prisoners as they do lots of fun stuff, like have desperate butt sex with each other, watch them take steroids, lift too many weights, get really pissed off and throw chairs at security guards, knocking them out and they steal the keys, and then all escape. It's really fun stuff. And... This is a game I really enjoy. It's not fully released yet. I think it's still in alpha. It's been in alpha for like three years for some reason. I have no clue why. But it's being released in October, and I thought since it's about to be officially released, I really just want to play it because I've been wanting to play it for a very long time. Also, we can change our language up here. We could actually add a little added challenge by changing our language to something like, I don't know, the languages will load. I'm not really sure what's happening right now. I think my game just froze because it's not very happy that I'm trying to change the language. Okay, fair enough. You can you can unfreeze yourself. Okay, there we go. That was crazy. Anyways, let's create a new prison. So first things first, we have some options when creating our prison. First, we can choose the size, small, large, or medium. I'm going to choose large because it gives you more space to build your prison. I'm not sure why you would choose small. It just gives you less space to build. And if you want to expand and play the game longer, you really can't. It's kind of like... If you had the option to choose the size of, like, your penis size, why would you choose small if you could choose large? It just it doesn't really make sense. I don't get it. Then there's Fog of War is the next option. I'm going to keep this turned on. Pretty much what it means is in order to see inside a room to see what's going on with your prisoners or whatever, you have to have one of your employees or security guards in that room or at least a security camera or else that room is invisible to you pretty much. It's kind of a cool feature. I enjoy it. Next is Generate Forest. I'm going to turn this off because all it does is to put annoying trees everywhere you have to knock down in order to build. It's more of a nuisance than fun. I'm going to keep lakes and buildings off too because they just build structures and lakes that you can't tear down and it's just more of a nuisance as well. Failure conditions. I'm keeping this turned on. Pretty much what this means is if you go bankrupt or have a riot or too many deaths or stuff like that, then your prison will fail and it'll get shut down forever. And that by forever, I mean you can't play that prison anymore. It's kind of like hardcore mode of Minecraft. And I think it's kind of fun. It kind of adds like a looming sense of despair over your head at all times. Gangs. This option wasn't here last time I played. As I said, it's still an alpha and they keep adding like little more features. I'm not sure what this is. It says that it just adds gangs into the game and they'll try to like kill each other. And that just sounds really violent. And I'm not sure if I could handle that. I think I would get really anxious and just probably throw up. Um, unlimited funds. That's also put in sandbox mode. So that's no fun. We're just going to go ahead and play it as it is. So here we go. This is our gigantic plot of land that we get to build a giant prison on. But we're not going to fill up the space for a very long time. We're just going to start over here. Now one thing I like about this game... Um, because this is pretty much like a, one of those games where you build stuff, kind of like Roller Coaster Tycoon. But one of the differences is when you build stuff, it doesn't just automatically appear. You have to let your little workers get the supplies and build it at their own pace. So first off, if anything happens, I'm going to pause the game because we have prisoners coming in 24 hours. And frankly, I don't think we're ready for prisoners. We have nothing built and they would pretty much just run away. <laughs> they would just get brought here and they would be like well nothing's keeping me here so they would just be like sayonara suckers so first things first is we're gonna go into planning and planning you can actually kind of plan out where you're gonna build things except we don't really know what to build yet but if we go into our reports which has lots of information I'll go over all of this eventually because there's a lot to take in so there's a lot to learn but we have grants and grants give us money to build certain structures in our prison and it gives us objectives and objectives are always good because it just gives us a list of things we need to take care of so the very first grant we're going to get is our basic detention center and it gives us twenty thousand dollars for the grant and then once we finish it we'll also earn another ten thousand dollars so that's pretty nice and then we're also going to unlock the administrative center grant now we can only have two grants at once so everything else is locked but there is a lot of grants we need to take care of and it's pretty much like the story of the game. It's a lot of fun, actually. So let's see what we have to do first. We have to build a detention center, which requires us to build a holding cell, a shower, a yard, a kitchen, a canteen, which is pretty much the cafeteria. Got to get some security guards, some cooks. Um, so pretty much everything that's required for a very, very basic prison. And then the administration center, we have to have two officers, a warden, and an accountant. That's There's actually lots of complexity to this game. So let's go ahead and start planning. So the first thing we're going to want to build is our holding cell. So this is where they bring the new prisoners. 
before they actually have a place to go, they go into the holding cell until they have their own cell and things like that. So this should be large enough for our holding cell. I think I'm, it doesn't need to be too big, but you don't want it to be too small as well, just in case you have a lot of prisoners come in. So we have our holding cell. We'll add a shower. We'll put the shower actually in the holding cell. We don't want it to be too big though. Let's make it about that big. That should be that should be good enough. A little tiny shower. They can all get close. If one of them drops the soap, they'll be in close proximity already. So I'm just kind of helping them out. You know, I'm just a nice person. Um, we need some toilets in here. I know this because I've played this game already and kind of know it's required. So I kind of have a small advantage. So we'll put some toilets back here. We'll put some doors so people don't watch the other ones poop because I don't know. I don't think I could ever be in a situation where people are watching me poop. It would just make me very uncomfortable and all that kind of stuff. It just, I don't know. Um, we're going to need a yard, which is where they all just kind of chill out and I don't know, <laughs> do drug deals, that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure I'm going to put that yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and build the foundation for this room right here. So we're going to unpause the game and have all of our little workers go like little worker ants and start building stuff. Oh, it requires an entrance. So we're going to get an object real fast and get a large door cell. Now, I don't know why I like games like this so much where you just build stuff. There's just something in my brain that loves building things. I think it's because my parents bought me lots of those types of toys when I was younger. Lincoln Logs, Legos, um... What other things connects? I just liked building stuff as a kid and then my dad was always a construction worker So I helped him build stuff all the time. We can speed it up a little bit have him go a little bit faster They start to build the foundation slowly. And it's cool. Just watching it all come together. Look at them all placed They're all kind of overweight at least this guy is right here But hopefully after all this construction work He'll lose a few pounds and his wife will start to become a little bit more sexually active with him because right now he's going through some marriage problems because He's just been eating a bit too much fast food because he's felt really stressed out. And because of that, he's put on about 30 or 40 pounds. And his wife is just starting to become unattracted to him. Because his personality isn't quite what it used to be when he was younger. And this is getting really depressing. <laughs> Way too realistic. But yeah, they're building a nice little foundation. Got some nice steel girders. Got some concrete to put on top of it. And it's all just really coming together. Oh, real fast. I'm going to turn off this option right here. Auto lights. What this does is they'll automatically place lights inside the rooms after they're built. But I don't like that because I like to have the lights put into the rooms symmetrically. And they don't do that. So now I'm just going to go ahead. Nope, don't auto lights. Now I'm just going to go ahead and place my lights in manually so they can be kind of in the perfect locations. There we go. We'll put a light inside the shower in a bit. Let's put some in the bathroom area. And now we're going to go to our brick walls. And we're going to build the walls for the shower and for the toilets. And as you see, as we build walls over the plans, the plans disappear. Except for some reason, I don't like this. The plans don't disappear in areas where there's a door. So that kind of pisses me off, but it's okay. And as you see, then the lights are turning on yet because we don't have any electricity in this location. So the next thing we're going to want to do is build an area for an electric generator and for a water pump because we need our utilities. Is there any other basic utilities you would need? Here, just look at our utilities. We have our power station, our water pump. There's some stuff, CCTV monitors. I think that's for security cameras. Phone tap, there's lots of stuff. If you see the objects, there's just so many objects to really personalize your prison and just make it really cool. It's a really, you wouldn't think building a prison would be a fun game, but it really is. Okay, so they're building this over here. It needs an entrance as well. Since we don't want prisoners coming into the utility area, we're just going to put a staff door coming in from the outside. And that'll be staff only because prisoners aren't allowed to go through staff doors. I think if there's a riot going on, they're allowed to exit through staff doors. So you normally have to have enough prison guards and stuff to prevent riots. And usually they won't go on riots if you keep them happy. So just make sure to keep your prisoners happy and everything will be okay. Let's go ahead and put our power station in. Now, when adding the power stations, you kind of want to have space away from the walls because the power stations require you to have capacitors to keep the power stations going. I'm not sure what a capacitor is, but I just know we need them. And then we'll also have our water pump. So 
the showers and the toilets will work, the sinks will work. Water's just an important thing. Um, so we have our holding cell, but the game doesn't know it's a holding cell until we go to our room button and classify it as a holding cell. Make this whole entire section a holding cell. There we go. Now that we've made it a holding cell, it, says, it tells us what else we need in order for it to be a finished holding cell. So we need a toilet and some benches. So let's add some of those. A toilet for pooping and urinating, but mostly pooping because most of these guys are big dudes. They eat kind of shittily, so they take giant dumps all the time. It's kind of gross. I don't really want to talk about it. It makes me uncomfortable speaking of it. And we'll put some benches up against this upper wall. And they can just sit there and, you know, be prisoners. I'm not sure what they would do. Okay. Um, so we need to go back to utilities and add our capacitors. Just so it will do its job. And we got to connect this water pump up to the electricity power station. Now, you don't have to have the wires. The electrical cables go to every single light. Usually, if you just have the big, gigantic cables go to the middle of a room, the wires will stretch far enough by themselves to all the lights in the room. Okay, so right now, there's no way for them to get into the shower. So, we need to add a door for them to get in there. Let's make it a just regular door. Uh I'm not sure if I want to have a regular door or a jail door. The thing about a regular door is the prisoners can open it themselves, but a jail door security guard has to come and open it for them. So we'll have a jail door so the security guards can let them know whether or not they're allowed to take showers at that moment in time. We need to find the shower room. Where is it? There it is. It kind of highlights the things you're currently working on. It helps you keep track of what's kind of going on because there is a lot going on. So that's the shower. What do we need? We need shower heads. Let's add some shower heads into this shower. Got to find them. It's not organized the best, but luckily it highlights the things that you're usually looking for. So put some shower heads there and there. You rotate it with the R key. And we need some drains so the water can get out. Now, as you see, the little toilets have little blue flashing water droplets which means we need to hook them up to the water supply now unlike the electricity um water lines actually need to connect up completely to the objects that they're servicing so we're just gonna have the large pipes and those are pretty expensive they're 15 dollars a piece so we can use small pipes that branch off from the large pipes to connect everything up perfectly There we go. Now they're just going to install that stuff. So we already had the holding cell done and the shower. Now we just need the yard, kitchen, canteen. And let's go ahead and just hire our security guards because they're not a waste of space. They're helpful. Another thing we can do is we can kind of make the rooms a little bit nicer. We can add like a texture to the ground. So I think for the holding cell, it might be nice to have some like white tile. Just anybody who's entering for their very first time to enter and they're like, uh. Oh, this place isn't too bad, but then they get to the back side of the prison and it's all just dirt and nasty and they realize what they're actually in for. But, ow, I just hit my microphone. I'm really sorry. I had to itch my back and... Oh, now my microphone stand is moving. Perfect. Okay. So next, let's start to work on this administration center just so we can get this warden in. Because we want the warden as soon as possible because he will research um, things like... Oh, before I actually start building that, I want to plan this out because... We have to make sure everything is the right size. So we'll have them enter through up here. We'll have the offices kind of separated from the rest of the prison. We'll have them enter up there, and we'll have some offices. The offices need to be at least four by four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. It's actually a little bit too large. Make it right there. That should be perfect. And there. That gives us enough room for three offices. And we'll put the doors at the top of each room. There we go. Kind of like that. And then that'll be the entrance to this whole office area. Okay, so that is built. So let's go ahead and do our foundation. Foundations are fun for everyone. Let's go ahead and put our staff door. Because only officers and... 
employees are going to be entering the offices. We're never going to have any security or prisoners back here. Security guards are allowed back here, but I'm not sure if security guards would ever have a reason to come back here. Okay, so while they're building that, let's go ahead and start working on our yard. Now, I think I'm going to put the yard down in this section and the canteen right here in the kitchen right up here. Now, I'm liked, what I like to do is I like to put like a gigantic long like central hallway that kind of is a central area for the whole entire prison. That way we can easily add rooms to the prison without having to worry too much. So let's just put a super long hallway right here. We'll just kind of branch rooms off of this. Okay, so they finished this room for us. Dang it. I think I made it a little bit too big, unfortunately. But that's okay. We'll just kind of move everything up. I'm going to get rid of all these plans because they're just going to confuse me now at this point. I'll probably have to more, add more offices later down here. So right now, this is okay. The size. So one, two, three, four. That is the perfect office size. There we go. Ugh, this really does bother me. I'm just going to get rid of this whole entire wall down here. It's because I'm not a big fan of it. Bye, wall. See you later. I'll just build a new wall right here. And I'm sure all these this office is going to be super dark, so let's go ahead and add our lights. We'll light it up, up, up. Light it up, up, up. Light it up, up, up. I'm on fire. Wow, that was the most off-key thing I have ever sang in my life. And I've sang lots of off-key things. That was just atrocious, though. So time to connect the offices up to electricity. Make sure it kind of goes down the center right here so it reaches all of the lights. Now let's go ahead and mark all of these rooms as offices. Where's the office room at? Kitchen, office. Why is that not highlighted? It should be highlighted. So that is an office, that is an office, and that is an office. Now what do these need? We need an office desk, a chair, and a filing cabinet filing cabinet so they can hide all of their porta magazines because you know how wardens are if you've seen orange is the new black the wardens are usually pretty perverted they're just sitting in their office jacking off all the time well that's what they do in orange is the new black anyways but i feel like that show is over sexualized just because people like over sexualized things oh well, maybe not i've never been to a prison so i wouldn't completely know it's had regular doors so the people can enter and exit as they please because there's not going to be anybody else coming past the security door and this room needs an entrance for it to be finished up. So let's add a large jail cell door right here. How much time do we have left before the prisoners get here? 12 hours. So we're about halfway done with our time. We're making pretty good time though. So we need a filing cabinet for these rooms. So I'm going to put the filing cabinets up here in the corners of each office. We're going to have a chair and an office desk. Is that turned? Okay. We'll have the office desk. We'll have the like computers turned away from the doors. I would. I always hate when like offices when you can enter the office and then you automatically see their computer screen. Like they shouldn't be looking at bad stuff, but what if they are? It just kind of makes me uncomfortable. Okay, so all of those are perfect, and we should now be able to hire the warden. Yay for wardens! Okay, here he is. Now, once we unlock the warden, we can click this warden button right up here to look at our bureaucracy. Bureaucus Jeez. Why can I not say this word? Bureaucracy. And these are all of the things we can unlock in the game. One at a time, though. First off, we want to unlock finance because that's our very first mission. Can we do two things at once? Because if so, I'm also going to go ahead and get health out of the way. Yes, we can. Is it going to do both at once? I'm unsure, but regardless, we're unlocking it. So that's all that matters. Ooh. Did I really make this room this skinny? I meant for it to be three by three. Let's see, I need to count it out real fast. One, two, three. Yeah, for some reason, that should not be like that. I don't like that at all. Let's expand this by one. And we'll bulldoze down, build, bulldoze down this wall right here. Okay, so next we need to have the canteen. We'll put the canteen right there. And then the kitchen will go up here. Oh, what's going on? Oh, that one's making it get all screwed up. And then they build everything in the order you place it down, which is also pretty cool. Okay, what's wrong with this room? There are no canteens accessible. Okay, well, that's pointless. Let me 
Stop getting ahead of yourself, game. I'm working on the canteen right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put doors in front of these bathrooms so people don't <laughs> watch people poop. Because that's gross. And I'll put a door right there too, just to kind of block it off real nice. I want to make these offices a bit nicer. So, is there carpet? There's wooden floor. Carpet would be really nice. There's fancy tile. Ooh. Uh, we'll do wooden floors. Wooden floors are pretty nice. Here you go, offices. Have some wood. That sounds suggestive. Okay, there we go. Now this hallway is the perfect size. Do we gotta add an entrance to this room? I believe so. Let's add a large jail cell door. We also need to put some lights in this hallway because it is so dark in here. Now the yard, that's pretty easy to make. All we gotta do is kind of separate it off with fences. <laughs> and there, <laughs> we have our yard. We can also put some grass down in here to make it a little bit nicer, so we'll do that. So they don't have to wallow around in dirt, especially if it rains, we don't want them tracking a bunch of mud back into the prison. We actually have to get janitors soon too, which I don't know why I haven't got them yet. Okay, let's go ahead and expand this electricity a little bit. That way it reaches this hallway and expands it up to where the kitchen is as well. How come this room isn't finished yet? What are we waiting on? Hey guys, <laughs> why is your progress so slow? What are you working on? Why are you doing the grass first? Okay, you guys are weird. I'm not exactly sure what you're thinking of doing. Oh, we need to put some lights up in this room up here too. It's really dark. I just, I hate when the rooms are dark. It kind of annoys me. Perfect. Is there any lights in the shower? I have the darkest showers in existence. I put four lights in a really small space. Now they'll have the brightest showers in existence. Light up their buttholes. Okie dokie. So I think we're making some pretty good progress, but I think I'm going to end this episode right here because we're at about 22 minutes and I don't want this episode to be too long. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Prison Architect. Bye!